Appeals Court is hearing a challenge to the law that bars people 21 and younger from buying long guns. The law passed after the 2018 Parkland school massacre. The NRA says the law is unconstitutional. Mike News reporter Jolina Esperto is in Cape Coral with reaction to the case. Days after the Parkland tragedy, the state of Florida banned selling long guns to people under the age 21. The National Rifle Association challenged in federal court, and now a three-judge appeals panel will determine whether the law is constitutional. I spoke to Guns for Less owner Joshua Arreo about the debate. Technically, at 18 you can possess, but at 21 you can purchase, and that provides a lot of inconsistencies for you know, consumers and people who want to defend themselves. And I also asked a gun shop customer buying ammo who told me he'd like to see the court roll the law back. 18 to 21, I feel like it's not that big of a maturity age gap uh, difference. And uh, like I said, we've been shooting for a long time. And uh, I'm sure many, many people have been shooting when they're young with their uncles, cousins, brothers. Fathers. Anthony Marola told me he first fired a gun at 14 when he used to hunt with his family in New York. You're considered an adult, you know, you can get tried legally in court for adult things. Like, yeah, I agree. I mean, if you're considered an adult, then you should be allowed to purchase it. There's no timetable as to when the court might hear the case and rule. Reporting in Cape Coral, Jolina Esperto, Wink News. Now, the state's argument for keeping the law in place is simple. FDLE argues there are long-standing restrictions on gun access for people with felony convictions who are mentally ill or are accused of having a mental illness. So why not, they say, a restriction on rifles and long guns based on age? Mm -hmm.